Intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there! Welcome to the Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair, uh, breakup chef. Breakup chef? What is that? When you're going through a breakup, <laughs> I make you break up friendly foods. <laughs> We'll have to talk about that at some point, but um, let's talk about sex to begin with. We're the Sexperts. Um, if you're just joining us, well, we actually just started the episode, but uh, we've been around for over 100 episodes. Between the two of us, we have uh, about 160 years experience in sex burning. A lot of callus. A lot of what? Callus. Like when you get blisters on your hands, <laughs> but it turns into hard skin. Oh, that's sick. Um, we uh, have a lot of puppets, um, which we use to teach children. Props. Props, yep. Yeah. Um, but right now, Posters, uh, this is this is uh, charts. We're, <laughs> we're actually we're um, we're coming to you live from a different location every week. Um, I'm talking about controversial sex topics or love topics, things that like 60 minutes isn't going to touch. No, not with a 10 foot pole. And we're at a very interesting location. We're actually at um, we're actually at uh, Lollapalooza, Lollapalooza. But uh, we got the dates wrong, so nobody's here. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> it's just the uh, us, Oopsie. and eventually our guest is going to come and really help us cra- out with the perspective. I was really craving a veggie burrito. Too. <laughs> yeah, how'd you get the dates wrong? Um, well, I forgot. Uh, I got <laughs> June and July mixed up because they both have four letters. It started with J, and I, I lost interest after the the, the the U. But it's November again. <laughs> Just too busy sex work. Okay. All right. Um, well, let's introduce our topic of the day and um, keep sending us topics. We get a lot of mail. We haven't read a lot of letters. Uh, uh, it's like fucking Santa Claus's workshop. In yeah. Uh, but we get topic suggestions all the time. Um, this one comes from Steve Smallberries, and it's a very interesting topic. It, it seems kind of rare, but a lot of people write in about this one. So the topic of the day is, well, this sucks! Exclamation point. And this is all about getting your dick stuck in a vacuum. So uh, <laughs> how to... Been there, done that, <laughs> willing to share... Some lessons learned. So thank you, Steve Smallberries, for the suggestion, and also a lot of other people, um, not just Steve Smallberries. But That's how the first uh, guitar player for Fish died, <laughs> speaking of Lollapalooza. Yeah, I, I am a little bitter that you, you sent us here, but um, I actually see there's, there's just an empty field, except there's one lone figure walking across. Oh, it's our guest. Hey, welcome. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Hi. Yes. How's it going? Why don't you introduce yourself to our audience? Well, my name is uh, Laramie Turnbull, <clears throat> and I'm very proud to announce that yeah. today... Uh-huh. I am the world's 370th strongest man. <laughs> Just got certified. Wow. Congratulations, Laramie. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great name, too. Lar- Laramie Turnbull. Where have I heard Laramie from? Wyoming. Laramie, Wy- oh, mm-hmm. with yeah, the, the, it's, terrible, it's a, it's a, <laughs> the terrible <laughs> tragedy that happened to Laramie. A- any comment on that? <laughs> we don't like to talk about mm-hmm. it. Um yeah, it still haunts us to this day. <laughs> so three out of three hundred seventy out of how many? How many do they rank? Uh, but yeah. Everybody, really, everyone's got their own ranking. Do yeah, I have I a ranking? I can look yeah. my ranking up. Yeah, where I mean, you got it? But you got it. You you do. Oh you, my god! If if Doctor John is above me, what uh, what's you, the website? Look, no, you you have to be a member of the website. You got to pay. Here's my monthly credit card. dues. A monthly due? How much? Yeah, uh, twenty nine ninety nine a month. Well, what's the website? Or if I, you may, I may be do in a this. yearly subscription. <laughs> they give you a discount. <laughs> And it just comes to one hundred dollars a year. <laughs> That's a pretty good discount. Well, but what's, what's you don't, the website? I may want to sign up. All right, it's 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 a uh, www. Well, do you do HTTP first? Uh, doesn't matter. Well, uh, should I or? Well, yeah. Let's make it okay. So <laughs> HTTPS at, colon. Why is there an S? Because it's means, fucking secure. Yeah, it means okay. it's secure. HTTPS okay colon forward slash which forward slash. Col- which was the colon? It's the two dots. The two dots humping each other. Okay, two yeah. dots. Uh, not dot dot. Okay. Uh, okay. And what well, www? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, world's strongest man ranking. <laughs> if I could trade a fraction of his expertise for internet savvy, my world's life would wait, be so much go, better. World's strongest man. World's strongest mm-hmm. man ranking. Man ranking. Twenty nineteen. <laughs> I'm getting a look at Doctor John's search history here. Dot <laughs> org. Quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's a dot org. Dot org. Oh, I put dot com. All right, go one more time. No, nah, screw it. Anyways, so uh, oh wait, I got in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Okay. So can I use your credit card, Delilah? Well, 
Absolutely. Listen, you gotta. Yeah. They gotta have you on file too. You gotta. You, I mean, they. Well, I thought you, you said trying, everybody why, was ranked. Why everyone to is, keep us out? but why basically, keep us out? basically, there's the people who've actually like submitted their information. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone else is tied for last. <laughs> <laughs> We're tied. Hey, we just high fived in the middle of the Lollapalooza. <laughs> But Never. It's, yeah, it's it's a, it's no joke. I mean, oh, I'm not joking. I mean, so, at, what did what did you have to do to get to 370? Well, I mean, I had to. I, you got to pick up a lot of heavy things uh, <laughs> over the career of your life. Um, <laughs> I started young, like my mom would ask me to bring in the groceries from the yeah. station wagon, and I'd do it all in one trip. <laughs> um, I just strap them on, and <laughs> what the did, neighbors would come out to watch. Mm-hmm. What is your what is your strongest body part? Strongest body part. <sighs> I gotta say, probably my arms. <laughs> Is that what you usually lift things with? Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of your lifting with your arms. My legs are pretty good. Like I'll, yeah, I'll get I'll on go. a, I'll, I'll get on, I'll lay on my back, and um, I'll ask somebody to put something heavy on my, on me, and then I'll just lift them up with my legs. Well, if you ever want to play airplane, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. play airplane. Oh no, no, I can't. I, my sister. Asked me to give my nephew an airplane ride, and he we haven't seen him since. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. Oh, that's that scary. is scary. He just he just chugged off over the horizon. <laughs> you say chugged off? Just chugged away. He was he was making little jet airliner noises <laughs> as he went. I'm chugging mm. away. Speaking of chugging away, let's talk about our topic of the day, which is well, this sucks. Getting your dick stuck in a vacuum. Do you ever actually have a? Uh, do you oh, ever? Yeah. Do you ever like lift um, household appliances? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm usually asked to lift everything. I mean, I'm. You know, I'm, I, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm in. I, I work in a circus. Oh, you, uh, you like put the tents up? Or? No, I'm. I'm. I'm the. I'm the strong man. Also, I'm the. You know, the freak enforcer. Oh. <laughs> wow. Like in freak. case that's ca- quite an achievement for the 370th person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what are the uh, what are the people that outrank you? What are they? What kinds of industries are they in? <laughs> Anything they want new. <laughs> you know, we got um NFL uh, players. Let's see, well, no, I mean we got like the so I know the guy who's like the two hundred and first strongest man. Yeah. Um that's uh that's Jerome Shackelford. Yeah. Uh he's out in the he sounds strong. Yeah, he's really strong. He's out there and he's out there in the Sahara Desert <laughs> building an oil rig by himself. <laughs> he's God. A, he uh oh. he, he FaceTimes me sometimes. I mean you'd think there'd be Yeah. Yeah, there'd be like some sort of animosity or whatever, but oh, it's yeah. not. It's it's cool. It's cool. I mean, if I ever overtake him, you know, I'll I'll send I'll I'll send Ooh. him a cake. How hard is it going to be though? I mean, two hundred to three seventy. What, what do you have to do to get to that point? You just got to want it more than <laughs> than uh, you know. Th- you got to be better than three sixty nine, and then better than three sixty eight, and so on and so forth. Just down the line, you got to apply yourself every day. Wow! I imagine age plays a factor. Like some people die off, other people <laughs> mm-hmm. other people are born. Oh yeah, no, that's true. That's true too. And you always fighting to hold your place. There's a decline too. I mean, the years will catch up to you. I mean, I'm in I'm in my I'm in my prime right now. Yeah. I'm I'm right there at thirty. You know, yeah, it's, that's the perfect age to be picking things up. <laughs> um, once you know, get to the other side of that, get closer to forty. Yeah, you know, you may you may not want to pick things up as much anymore. What about Jerome? How is he pushing? Jerome, Jerome's kind of, he's sort of a prodigy. Oh, okay. You know, Jerome is actually 42 years old. Oh, shit. But he looks at, he looks at this uh, desert oil rig he's building as kind of <laughs> like, like his last hurrah. He told me in the last, <laughs> the last time we Facebooked each other, we, yeah. um, you know, Facebook instant messaged uh, with the video chat. Oh, what's another website? Yeah. What is, what is that website? It's HTTPS yeah. Yeah. colon forward slash forward slash okay. www.facebook.com. Yeah. It's not the Facebook? Nah, it's just regular Facebook. Okay. I think hey. the Facebook sounds better. Well, anyways, he, okay. he told me that, you know, this might kill me. I don't even know if there's any oil down here and no <laughs> one's asked me to do this. <laughs> But it just feels like it would be an impressive feat. Well, speaking of feet, mm-hmm. our time of the day is... Ah, that was a poor transition. But, well, that sucks. Um, how to get your dick... Or how not to get your... Well, just getting your dick... What dicks, to do when... What to do when your dick gets stuck in a, in a vacuum cleaner. Now, did I hear right that you're yeah. you're a, a breakup chef? Yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh that's... Yeah, what kind of foods do you serve for people who are, get broken up? Well, and it's not... I do... Uh, you know, it's, it's sort of a whole lifestyle thing I... I offer Netflix playlists, um, comfort clothes. 
comfort clothes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, keep going. Comfort wardrobes, okay. if you will. And uh, I cook like mac and cheese. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> chips and dip. Mm. Uh, ice cream. I make a lot of ice cream. Do you do this for people who are just broken up or like grieving? Like, you know, because my Mildred, not doing too well in that iron lung right now. Would you Would you break up no, Chef gr- Me? People who are grieving kind of freak me out. <laughs> Dick. I'm like, how could you care for another person? Then <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, my- <laughs> like, it's one thing to be down and get back up, but just sit there in the grief. Are I can't, you kidding I can't do me? That. I mean, my sister recently lost her son, and <laughs> I was hoping maybe you could make her some chips and dip. Well, no, he would have to date her first, and then break up with her, and then make her. Well, which I am more than willing to do. <laughs> right, you're a handsome man. I'm sure she oh, comes from good stock. How old is she? Oh, she's uh, you know, t- twenty five. That's right. Date? That's right in her prime. <laughs> She a strong man too. Oh, no, I, no. What's she ranked? She's not ranked. She's she, she looks at life as more than just a competition. Wow. What does she do? Grieves. She's <laughs> <laughs> she cries. She cries about her dead son. She's a world champion poet. <laughs> but she's not into the competitive act, aspect, or well, no. But she does do. <laughs> <laughs> she she had greatness thrust upon her. She didn't. Wow. She, she um she does arena tours <laughs> with her poetry. I have never heard of uh, a poetry arena tour. This well, is they, they you know they they kind of keep it low key. <laughs> it's it, it's kind of like Lollapalooza where you have to get a lot of poets on the bill to fill the arena. Mm. What would that bill look like? Like what are the what are poets' names? Yeah, it was like her and uh, you know there's Yeats, <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Day O'Connor. <laughs> Dietrich, the entertainer. Shell Silverstein. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. Um, Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a guy named Tiny. Ti- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a guy named Tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to watch yeah. out for the tinies. That's usually, they're not small. They're Yep. They're cra- the craziest thing about the Arena Poet Tour, <laughs> I've read about this. Uh, the first 20 yeah. minutes, open mic. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's it's true. the only open mic that's ever been at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it takes balls. It, it takes, takes balls. balls. Yeah. Uh, what are other um, good nicknames that that um, uh, are pervasive amongst the strongman community? Uh, t- you mentioned tiny, probably smalls. Mm-hmm, there's shivers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why shivers? Well, you, you sometimes sometimes when you you try to overlift, mm-hmm. you get the muscle shivers, uh, and you're, uh, you're. I know, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I never knew there's a name yeah, for it. It's called the muscle shivers. Yeah, it's not really. You know. So some of these guys just try to like you know overdo it, and they're just like, oh, call yeah. me shivers. Yeah, so they're like you know when they're never shivers. If you're if your nickname <laughs> shivers, you're not going to really amount to much. <laughs> Maybe a pirate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, There's a forklift. Um, forklift. Mm-hmm. You know, That's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You name yourselves after. This guy who eats too much. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> for, there's forklift. There's you know power loader. There's dump truck. There's a massive. tugboat. There's <laughs> massive dump truck. There's. <laughs> what about you? You got a little nickname for your, yourself there? Like, yeah, they, they, why they does like, it have to be little? <laughs> Because we talk about tiny and little. Because he's mm-hmm. big. That's, he's that's big. Just... He's got yeah, big they, muscle. They, they, they like to call me Mission Control. <laughs> Why? Why do they call you Mission Control? On account of all the children I've watched. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? What did you just say? On account of all the children he's launched into space. <laughs> Mission Control. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I. I tear up thinking about it. It's not a pleasant nickname. The best laughs are the ones when you're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> Laramie Mission Control Turnbull. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mission Control. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. So let's get to, um, speaking of Mission Control, missionary position, which makes me think of, well, that sucks. Uh, getting your dick stuck. In a, it's so vulgar. Getting your dick stuck in a, in a vacuum cleaner. Thank you, Steve Smallberries. Uh, I, I do want to ask you this. What, since we, do what, you have like a, are you like, do you have like a competition with the guy next to you in the rankings? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm presum- presuming it's a guy. I guess it could be women. Like this is no. There's a separate website a... for the women's. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. I want to go to that one. Yeah, <laughs> what is that one? <laughs> it's a it's a https colon yeah. forward slash forward slash okay 
world's strongest women or 2019.org dot org again yeah. okay but oh okay yeah no it's it, i already have an account for that one that's kind of weird is that weird i already have an account for have, that one have you sent them any of your blood <laughs> Maybe, uh, oh, that's it. I sent Mildred's blood oh. to have it analyzed. See if they could do something for her. Where's she ranked? Uh, she was ranked before she got in the Iron Lung. Um, what was her ranking? It was some... You paid for her membership? Yeah. Uh, she, she, before, she, she was a, a gymnast. She lifted things. She used her arms. She can't do any of that now. She carried her own Iron Lung into the house. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, I, I see a woman in the Iron Lung, and I just want to pick her up. <laughs> just hold her over my head. That is, that is sweet. Mm-hmm. I I can't do that. I'm I'm too weak. Maybe if he launched Mildred into space, <laughs> the lack of gravity would help her condition. Like they did uh, Spock yeah, in did, uh, Search did, for Spock. What did Mildred used to do before she got in the Iron Lung? What was her What was her job? Well, she a hobbyist a gymnast as okay. well as you know a strong woman. Oh. And um, she mostly did some clerical stuff. She worked for a temp agency for a long time. Mm. Um, she also worked for the post office. She just couldn't find something that she really loved. She really liked uh, places where she liked the people. You know, oh, she liked okay. her coworkers. So she, she was a big happy hour girl. Happy oh. hour girl. She worked in a movie theater for a while, popping popcorn. No, 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 uh, no educational experience. Like she n- uh, never done any teacher work or anything. I, I'll have to ask her. I'll have to ask her. I, I know that she she tutored some of the local oh, children okay. around our area. Well, that's good. I yeah. mean, she mowed lawns for a little bit. And I, I, yeah. I, I, I'd launch her up into space, maybe. <laughs> maybe she could teach some of those children I sent up there. I mean, just a few more. Just a few more, we could fill a classroom. <laughs> Sorry, I just vomited on the, the Lollapalooza field. Well, we, we've got some things. I mean, it's a pretty empty field, but there are some objects here that oh. could be lifted. Yeah, you want to lift these things? Oh, I've been eyeballing them. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Which one do you want to lift first? <sighs> I want to... I want to lift that Ford Fiesta. Starting small. You, you're a car. You're a car. <laughs> you're a car person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know the Ford Fiesta is, <laughs> is like it's uh, the warm up of, of cars to now, lift. How much of the lifting of the Ford Fiesta is um, strength versus technique? Mm. Like, for instance, could you teach a guy like me to lift a Ford Fiesta? Oh, well, most of it, you know, <laughs> a, lo- a lot of it's just willpower, just willing your body to go past its limits. God, you want like, That's like my motto when it comes to sex birding. Do you want <laughs> going, going past limits? Willing your body to go past its limits. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to try to lift it? And I'll just coach you through it. Yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now look. A lot of people say lift with your legs, but don't. This is a fiesta. You're going to want to use your back. <laughs> uh, show us first, and then, and then have them do it. All right. So all you got to do yeah. is you just approach the fiesta. Yeah. And you're going to get down. Mm-hmm. Wow! Well, look at those haunches. Your, you're gonna get. You're gonna grab it. Yeah. You're gonna get a good grip Ooh, on it. And turned on. All right. Yeah. And yeah. then you just. Oh, you're using your back muscles. You just jerk. Ow! Whoa! Uh, and there it goes. Oh! There it goes into space. <laughs> you lifted too hard. And I'll never be able to lift it. Mission we'll never control. know if I could have lifted it. Well, let's, right. why don't we just lift this other Ford Fiesta? <laughs> Extended cab. We're yeah, we are such good friends that we both bought Ford Fiesta. Uh, speaking of which, this episode is sponsored by <laughs> Ford, Ford Fiesta. Fiesta. Yes, we still make them for your next quinceanera. All right, so lift this. Okay, now teach uh, Delilah here. All right, so you saw what I did, right? Just go, <laughs> just approach it. Now don't go ahead. Don't be scared. Oh, all right, why are you You're dancing towards it. Yeah, I've never seen you move your hips like that. Before. Don't be showy. All right, <laughs> the Ford Fiesta is not going to respect. I'm trying that. to establish some dominance. <laughs> All right, you want to get a transformer. All right, you're gonna want to oh. get it from the side. All oh, right. All right. oh! You sound like you got a hairball. <laughs> oh, you're shivering. Right. You're sh- you're you got shivers. Got the, you got the muscle shivers. <laughs> Doctor John, get him, get him a blanket. Oh God! All right, here. Oh God, it's this is so cold. Wow, you are shivering. It's so cold. You barely, you barely. Is it in space? It. I can't see it. No, no. no. <laughs> But look, is it is it like near the atmosphere? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, what is that in the sky? Oh, is that a child falling from the sky? Oh my god, Tommy! Oh my god, Tommy! Are you re-entering our atmosphere? <laughs> okay, there is a bunch of children. It's it's raining children here at the Lollapalooza field, wow. and that Ford Fiesta is about to come back down. So we we got to go. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, uh, Mission Control. Look, help me catch him. Help me catch him. We can bring him back to my sister. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a hard hit. Um, so that's going to be it for this experts. Uh, any, any last words? Anything you want to plug, uh, Mr. Yeah. Laramie? Um, uh, I've got a Mission book. Control? I've got a book coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called uh, "Challenger of the Unknown: 
um, how you two can lift. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you two can lift. Okay. It's like teaches like the edge how to lift. Mm, yeah. The edge, the U2 guitar player. How you two can lift. Oh. <laughs> Good catch. All right. Uh, well, we didn't get to our topic of the day, which is... Uh, va- oh, there's still... <laughs> there's Oof. dead bodies. Dead children's bodies. And dented fiestas <laughs> everywhere. Okay, that's it for this experts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair, and you deserve a little ice cream, girl. See you sex time. Look out now. <laughs> That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.